Zero versus QuickBooks. Which one is better? Good day, folks. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to run through Zero and we're going to run through QuickBooks and we're going to check which one of these accounting softwares can really ease the financial dealings within your business. So, let us get straight in. First of all, I'm going to run through the interface and the usability, both of Xero as well as QuickBooks. And then we're going to have a look at some of the key features that Xero offers as well as what QuickBooks can offer you. And then we're going to jump in and have a look at some quick pricing structures that they've got going. So the first thing I want to show you is the interface. So this is the dashboard on Xero. And as you can see here, they've got a pretty cool dashboard up at the top of this menu you've got all of your business items over here your cash flow business snapshots invoices quotes sales overviews bills to pay so you can see everything over here you can also have a look at all your accounting tabs over here then you have your projects that you're running so you can manage all your projects from one space and then you can manage all your contacts from one space one of the nice things i like about zero is over on the right hand side you can just click a plus button and you can create a invoice a bill a contact a quote purchase order you can spend money receive money and transfer money so you don't have to go into these appropriate menu items and go and look for those items to create a new item so zero just looks a lot better firsthand than what quickbooks does another thing that we're going to get into is actually creating an invoice so all you have to do is click on that plus sign and hit invoice jumping into the new invoice over here you can now add your contact you can give it an issue date a due date you can give it an invoice number and then you can also give it a tag or a reference then you can set up your online payments and you can change the currency that it is currently in and right over here at the bottom you can now enter the items on your invoice you can give it a description quantity price which account it's coming to or going from and then the tax rate and an amount and then as you can see over here on the right hand side you'll get a subtotal a total of that and then you will get the total that is owing to you then right at the top you can tap on preview it'll give you a preview of this invoice then you can either save and add another invoice or you can submit for approval and if you want to approve and email then you can just go ahead they have a nice drop down menu here you can approve you can add another you can get a link and then you can also print to PDF and that I think is quite nice because that means you can do a bunch of things all with one click so initially yes zero looks like it's nice and easy to use it's straightforward so the next thing I'm going to get into is the fact that zero has a very very wide selection of apps in their app store so if you're on your home page on zero you can actually just go straight from your dashboard and on the top right hand side there are a bunch of dots that gives you a menu now this menu basically allows you to choose from apps and the apps will basically that page will look like this so here you can search for apps in the search bar as you can see though if you don't want to search there are some popular apps there are some categories as well so you can choose from and as you can see here there is a wide selection so there really is a lot to actually jump into here so you can do a lot more with just one platform just by integrating these apps so let us jump over now and have a look at what QuickBooks has to offer initially when I go ahead and see the interface as you can see it looks again relatively simple you also can open up the sidebar over here which gives you your menu again it gives you everything from transactions sales expenses all of your reports your vat details and then you can also hire an accountant straight from here then having a look at how easy it is to actually use QuickBooks on the top right hand side there is a plus button and once you tap that you can create an invoice a quote any one of these items here you can also create an expense check bill account and then you can also pay your bills straight from here you can also manage all your employees so you can create a single time activity or a weekly timesheet and then there's a couple other things that you can create right over here so again i'm going to go and tap on invoice and we will create an invoice so top left you can see now that it's um, prompting me to add a customer over here all you need to do is select 
add new you can enter the details in here if you don't have an existing customer and then you can put all the customer details in over here again you're going to go ahead and enter the customer's email address billing address the terms the invoice date due date as well as some tags and then you have your actual invoice so you've got your product or service description quality rate and your amount and of course then you can add lines and you can clear lines you can add a subtotal line and then it's your balance due at the bottom over here again you've got some options you can save and you can create a new one you can save and share a link and then you can save and share straight to whatsapp which has actually become quite a convenient thing these days if you can just send invoices over WhatsApp, if you have a quick button to do that, that is actually quite convenient. Again, it's very easy. It looks um, very nice to work with. It's very straightforward and simple. And um, I think all in all, it's a pretty tough competitor with Zero. So getting into the apps that you can integrate into QuickBooks, again, as you can see here, you can go up to the right hand side, there are some dots, and you can just tap on find apps, or alternatively, you can go over to the menu on the left hand side, and there is an apps, and you can just tap on find apps right over there. Now, if we just close this quickly, you can see, again, that you have many, many categories that you can choose from, and you can also search for your app, but there are some apps that they put here for you some suggested apps and some more popular apps than others and you can go ahead and you can integrate pretty much any sort of app that you would need so that you can make your experience a whole lot easier so again i want to talk about one of the nice features here with zero as well as quickbooks so they both offer a great way to automate all of your finances so let's just say for example you sent out a quotation and then once you're done with your quotation that quotation gets accepted and all of those details get saved and it gets thrown into your invoice and once you get invoiced then you can then create your bill so that is a nice automation it's a nice work Workflow, so you don't have to so we're going to talk now about something that both zero as well as quickbooks offer and i think it's a great advantage quickbooks as well as zero both offer automation so there's a nice way for you to set up a flow so that when you create a quote it automatically has all those details forwarded into an invoice and then forwarded towards a bill so that you only have to do that once fill in all those details and then you create a flow and you don't have to type out every single invoice and every single bill. So QuickBooks has the exact same thing. If you are setting up a quote or an invoice or whatever it may be, you can set up a flow so that it is easy for you to do things. So you only have to do things once and the automation takes care of the rest so if you're going into your apps store you can find a number of apps that can do that for you and uh, quickbooks actually offers that exact same thing one of the apps that i will mention that i have used before is zapier and it actually works very very well to create workflows and great automations now going into pricing, as you can see, the Zero does have three packages. You can see now their starter package is 435 Rand. Now if we have to convert that 435 Rand just to put it into relativity over here, you can see that is 435 Rand. It equals just over $23. Now it really doesn't sound like a lot for a starter package. $23 gives you 20 invoices. It gives you five bills. It gives you reconcile bank transactions, a hub doc bill capturing and receipt capturer. It also allows you to track your cash flow and it also gives you a few other options. So if you want to, that does sound like a decent price plan. But if you jump into QuickBooks, you will see that even their cheapest or their simplest plan is 264 Rand. And initially, you can see that that number is half. So you're going 264 Rand, and it's actually giving you 14 dollars it's substantially less and if you have a look at what you're actually getting here you're getting the track income expenses feature you can send customer invoices and quotes you can connect your bank 
you can track your VAT, insights and reports also are included. You can capture and organize your receipts. There is progress invoicing, and this is all for one user plus your accountant. So you get two users basically in that deal, and the price is a lot less. And this is really only for the first three months as you can see here so for your first three months you get this promotion it's 23 rand that means that you're only paying for your first three months one dollar twenty cents and that is really good pricing overall having a look at what quickbooks has to offer as well as what zero has to offer taking into consideration their apps their integrations and their ease of usability their interface and their easy to read data i'm going to go ahead and say that quickbooks for me is a much easier platform to use it just says to me that it wants to be easy and it's going to be an easier platform to use and there we go folks i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave us a like don't forget to smash that subscribe button and we will see you in the next video Happy invoicing.